There may be 12 angry men, but this is one good drink. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for 12 Angry Men. I know that a lot of you are wanting me to do 12 monkeys. This is the 12. This is not the 12 you were thinking about. When I did this scratch off poster, one of the first movies in the top left hand corner, one that I didn't get to scratch off, was 12 Angry Men. It's a movie that I've wanted to see for four bloody ever. Obviously, there wasn't anything to do today. I sat down and watched it, and I wanted to scratch off that poster. And first off, I want to say, I get it. I get why everyone loves this movie. For a film that is essentially shot in one room, it is so captivating. The acting, the writing, the camera work, as simplistic as it is, is so well entrenched in keeping you engaged in the story. The film starts with the end of the trial and the jury walking back to discuss the case, all the while we get a shot of the kid who's been accused of first degree murder. And then what plays out is essentially the discussion of whether the kid is guilty or not. Everyone thinks he's guilty, except for Henry Fonda. As their conversation and the debate builds, we learn more about the case through their dialogue, we learn more about the characters through their dialogue, and we learn more about who they are as men and society as itself through this debate. And we slowly see the side change. This is fantastic character creation. Oddly enough, I'm going to reference Peter Jackson's The Hobbit movie, but the biggest problem I had with that film was you didn't know who the Nine Dwarves were. You knew who Thorin was, you knew who Balin was, the rest were just kind of there. This movie is able to give you a clear description, a clear characterization, and in-depth moments with each individual juror and it's an hour and a half long the film is based off of a play but it still works so well for the camera the opening shot of them coming into the room and having their first round of discussions and introductions is a 10 minute single take but it's so well done and then there's these moments that happen periodically throughout the film when the arguments of the debates get more and more heated and more and more personal the camera gets personal and gets tighter in on the characters it's giving you those moments where you can't breathe because you're waiting for the confrontation to come to an end and when it cuts to a wide that is literally you the audience member having a breath having a moment to just whoo kind of take all that in and then getting ready for the next point this type of camera movement is obviously a well-versed one a well-used one it's actually used in breaking bad quite a bit it's so well included into this film and i again can see why so many people herald this film it has a fantastic pace it has great characters even though you don't really know who any of them are by their name you just know who they are by their feelings their personality and the little that you get to know about them in this hour and a half. It has fantastic camera work. For a film that is essentially shot in one room, it never gets boring. It has a great moment of clarity and humanization at the end. And what's probably one of the best parts about the film is the ambiguity of it. You don't even know if the kid is actually innocent or not. You don't get that. You just have this great, great debate. I would love to see this play whenever we can go back to, you know, actually hanging out with regular people. 12 Angry Men gets a 7 out of 7 for me. So happy that I finally saw this. So, so, so happy. If you guys haven't seen it, you can type it in in Google. It's actually in an archive uh, uh, website, so you can watch it on there. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.